what's going on you guys uh, welcome back to my channel um, today I am going to bring you a little bit of RC content now I know I haven't had much RC content on my channel in quite some time it's, it's been probably a couple of years um, and I know the RC content always did well and it is still uh, related to what my channel was about anyway so uh, today I do have a uh, Everest Gen 7. Now this particular truck um, has actually been featured on the channel before uh, back when it was brand new and first purchased. So what brings this truck in here today? Um, it is still having the issue with burning up the servos. Um, this is um, it is a factory um, Hexfly servo that is on there right now and this one is actually the second one that's been on this truck. Now back when this truck was first uh, purchased um, the the steering servo that came on it which is the exact same one that's on it right now um, it did not last but maybe a week or two and it burned up. Um, if anybody out there has Red Cat, um, any of these Hexfly um, electronics and servers and everything, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They just, for some reason, they burn up on everything you have them on. I don't know why, but. Um, so this truck is no exception. It is completely all stock factory. There has been no modifications. And again, it is still burning up the servos. Um, so this particular servo, as I said, is the second one that's been on this truck. Um, and fortunate for us for this particular one, um, the, the, uh, the RC shop that we bought this truck from um, actually uh, stood behind um, the sale and um, replaced the servo free of charge for us. Um, and that was Eric at Jack's RC in uh, Moorfield, West Virginia. I will drop some info in the um, description um, on his RC shop and website, so check him out. He always has a lot of good deals. So I have a brand new but stock um, Let's see if this thing's going to focus here. Have, you know, just a stock Hexfly Servo, which is what's on there right now So we're literally we're just going to put this on there and uh, See if that fixes the issue if not I do have another one uh, That I can put on there so first things first, I am going to uh, plug it in, turn it on, and show you what is going on with this truck with the servo. Okay. Well, and there, oh, hold on a second. Oop. So if you can kind of see, there's your first indication that something is going on and I'll try to steer a little bit here so we're gonna put this we're gonna center the steering trim and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this servo plug the new one in and uh, check it out make sure it's working hmm Now to replace these servos, um, they, they are fairly simple to do. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, let's see if this thing's going to focus, uh, the steering horn, which is actually, that's what this is actually called. A lot of people just call it a steering arm, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Um, first thing you want to do is take that little Allen screw out of there because that disconnects your tie rods and everything. And then you got four Allen screws uh, that hold it on there. And then after that, it's simply uh, following the wire back. There's a zip tie there holding it to the frame. There's a zip tie here holding it to the frame. And then it just kind of sneaks on up through there. So you pretty much want to run your uh, your new one, the wire, back the same way it was from the factory. Or if, you, you know, if you're good at running wire and hiding it and tucking it in places, things like that, where it won't get pinched anywhere and all that, you know, you can run this pretty much however you want, uh, you know, uh, it, make it your own kind of deal but uh, for this particular setup I'm just going to run it the same place that uh, 
Um, same place that this is ran, which is where it was run from the factory. Um, Cause this, like I said, this is the second servo I've put on this truck so far. So here's the bad one. I'm definitely gonna stick that over there. Now the way this thing was sounding, I am honestly not even a hundred percent that this one is okay to use, but we're gonna hook this one up anyways and uh, and try it out to see if this one was any count. Before you go and put your steering horn on, you obviously are going to need, you obviously are going to need this center. So that's what you do, you, you, you plug your battery back up, you turn your radio on, uh, you turn the truck on, and the servo is going to automatically center. Now of course as long as you got your settings right. Now for this, I have the steering duration at 50 which basically that means this thing is only turning left or right half of its capabilities which I'll explain that or why here in a minute and this one here I know you can't see these arrows but I have it at zero for the steering trim so uh, it's not going to the left any more than the right or vice versa or whatever so it's dead center so you want that dead center before you hook up your horn now I'm going to test the steering Seems like that servo is working perfectly fine, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn the truck back off, take the battery out of it, and uh, turn the radio back off, and go ahead and tighten everything back up and fish these wires, this uh, wiring harness, back through where it goes. Now you just simply feed the harness on through where it was which it was mounted right there, it was strapped right there and it came right up through here which I have the thing turned around Okay, only thing left to do is uh, put a couple zip ties on here and for the bottom one I might change the location of the zip tie there because there is an issue with this particular um, suspension link here. Um, it is actually a little bit loose um, and what it's doing is it's going down here like that and it's hitting right here on the frame and it's actually binding up this suspension so I'm going to have to probably take this off put a little bit of red Loctite, Loctite on the threads on both ends of this so it does not move like that um, because when they move like this that's when you have suspension issues and that's when you start breaking stuff when this or this little bin is supposed to be straight up so that you know the suspension works perfectly fine there that is brand new servo in there a factory and just hex fly uh, servo for this particular truck okay so as far as uh, the suspension link here now as you can see see how the bend it goes up right so what this truck was doing and this is a common thing anyways um, you see how I can turn it it's because you know it's loose in here and I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but uh, the link is all scuffed up there and then the bottom of the frame you can see is all scuffed up because apparently this has been binding up on her a good bit. I'm not sure if she noticed that or not, but uh, that's one of the first things I noticed when I got the truck. The suspension was not working. So it was stuck down there like that and as you can see, it's hitting the frame right there. And completely binding up so what we're going to do is I'm going to take that off and as I said I put a little bit of red Loctite in there so that it will not move uh, so it not, won't turn like that I mean it's going to turn a little bit because of you know the ends here you know it has to turn a little bit but um, the actual linkage itself turning 
in here is where we don't want it to turn. So that's what I'm you know, putting the Loctite in there for so that don't turn. So it only turns as a whole, the whole thing, you know, the amount that it's supposed to turn, which is right here like that, you know, because they do need to turn a little bit. They do need to be able to move a little bit like that, just not that much, so. But you can see, I'll hang on to this tight and you see how this moves. See, that's what you don't want. You don't want those to move. The only type of movement these things are supposed to have is what moves in here in the ball joint. That's the only type of movement you want out of these. So these have to be, uh, which with this thing having the, the bend in there, it's easy to uh, set these things up. I mean, they just set straight up like that and uh, put a little bit of Loctite on it and they're good to roll. Got everything back together. Um, got the, uh, the new servo on and uh, took it for a little test drive seems like it's working fine um, also um, uh, got the suspension linkage back on uh, it's been a couple hours so I let the red Loctite uh, set for a little bit and you see it only moves um, what it's supposed to and not moving in here so um, that way it won't bind up on the frame or nothing like that right here and she'll have full uh, capabilities of her suspension no issues um, I also went through the truck and uh, just checked on a few other things uh, took the old air compressor um, blew out the bearings uh, blew the dirt and dust out of the motor um, and checked a few other things and did a little bit of adjustment on the steering um, for some reason with these factory um, steering horns unfortunate with these things it's like the uh, splines in here um, just do not line up perfectly um, you know with the servo in order to get the steering perfectly straight so I had to make a little bit of adjustment. I'm not sure if you can see that, but just a little bit of adjustment here to actually turn the wheels slight a bit to the right. Um, that way I can have the steering trim set on here on the remote, not quite as far as it was. Let's see if I can get this thing to, yeah, so you can kind of see it is on uh, I don't know, close to one and a half is actually where it is. Now, obviously, goal is, you you know, center. Uh, you know, you want it on zero, but, you know, we, we don't live in a perfect world, so. Uh, but that's a lot better than what it was. Um, it was almost all the way up to three just to keep this thing going straight. So, you know, that's a pain in the butt. You need a little bit of adjustment both ways. So there she has a little bit of adjustment both ways. And as far as for the steering, for the for the uh, the dual rate. So I'm not sure if you can see this. This green light might make it okay. So you have an adjustment from zero to 100. Now that is zero percent to 100 percent. I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay. You see, you got this screw right here, and then you got this little tab on the knuckle here. Now, I have it set to probably about 65%. And you'll see this tab actually almost touches that screw. You see that? It almost touches that screw. Now, because of the steering, you know, because there's always an issue with the, the alignment and everything, you know, it's going to become a little bit closer probably on one side, as you can see there. One thing that's happening with these servos and when, while they're burning up, if you have the steering set at 75% and more, the servo, um, you know, yeah, it's steering, um, it's turning the wheels as far as it can go, but it's hitting those little screws and those notches but the servo is still trying to pull it further which is basically uh, you know uh, torquing on everything and bending everything and that's obviously put strain on the servo and the motor and you know and, and that's going to cause it to burn up even faster than it's already going to anyways so to prevent that 
I have it set to about 65%, which is literally all the steering capabilities of the truck anyways, because any further and it will hit the screw and then you're, you're into the, the servo fighting the wheels, you know, fighting to turn it anymore and just starts bending things and putting strain on, on the motor in the servo anyway. So causes it to burn up. So at 65%, it's, it's steering all it can steer anyways, without modification, of course, which I can do that in a later video, uh, do the steering mod on this thing and it, will do a little bit better at steering as well. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, got a brand new servo on there. Uh, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of test driving, a little bit of readjustments here and there. And uh, this rig is ready for the trails for the weekend. And hopefully, uh, she don't burn up another servo and, uh, and she don't have to carry this out of the woods because we all know that sucks. <laughs> so, till next time. See you guys in the next video.